it's Magnolia Monday, y'all. So, today we're going to use this stencil that says some of y'all's cornbread ain't done in the middle. I'm sure y'all know some of those folks. And I got this board here from the Dollar Tree. This will be the blank that we'll be using. We're going to go in with some Cashew Waverly chalk paint. And coat the whole front of this board. I'm going to take my wax here. It's just, it's just a, a candle, y'all. And just scrub that all over. And I, I went for a little different look this time. This is Truffle Waverly uh, paint. And I wanted it to just look really old, weathered, and rustic. So I didn't really... Um, it, the, it didn't turn out the same as it normally would when you would use the chalk. Um, I just really wanted it grungy, so I went in with my scraping tool. I couldn't find my small one, and then I went in with my gator and sanded it down. And we're going to take our mat here for our stencil and place our stencil on it just to get some of the tackiness off. Um, if you guys have never heard of Magnolia Design Company, check out my link. So many gorgeous stencils, chalk paints, blanks tons and tons and tons of options guys i love 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 our stencils these are uh screen stencils and we're going to place this and position it where we want it um so it didn't the chippy effect isn't isn't like sorry my phone messed up it isn't like the normal chippy effect i just wanted it to look really old and and just weathered and grungy we're gonna go in with our black and this is uh almond latte i think it's called and uh, coal black, I do believe. I don't have them sitting in front of me, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. And we're going to take the almond with our squeegee here and do all of our lettering in that. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to check back in for uh, whatever Wednesday and Faux Food Friday, y'all. I hope everybody's staying blessed and doing well from all of this horrible weather here in North Carolina has been so sad and terrible. My husband's um, on the list to be deployed with the fire department to go out there and help everybody. It's it's terrible. We went in with our black and done our skillet down there, and then we're going to pull this away. Make sure that you wash your stencil as soon as possible. These are reusable about 10, 12 times, so make sure you give that a really good wash immediately. I'm going to go in with these little wood rounds. They're flat um, on one side. And then we're going to go with our Waverly Antique Wax and just wax those bad boys up. We're going to put one in each corner and then um, on each side in the middle. Just to give it, you know, some different color and depth and, and stuff like that. And glue those in place. Y'all be sure to check out my page too because I have something that's going to go along with this that I'm in the middle of creating. It takes a little bit of time. Um... But I'm so stinking excited. It's going to be a really cute display piece to go with this. Um, I made me a little bow. I'm going to stick in the middle up there and glue that up there. And these little mini pine cones, I got a bag of these from um, Hobby Lobby. I'm going to put one in the middle. And, of course, go in with Sweet Annie. Again, just to give it some color variation and, and things like that. And Sweet Annie smells amazing. Um, I really hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you're doing well. Stay blessed. And be sure to come back and be checking in to see the piece that I have to go with this. Bye, y'all.